which restrict which restrict maximum number of members to 200 excluding present and past employees joint shareholders are treated as single shareholder and which restrict the transferability of the share which prohibits issue of a prospectus which means there is no ipo or fpo initial public offer or further public offer rights issue not there and of course section 42 is allowed that is private placement and minimum directors were and finally the minimum prescribed capital the capital as may be prescribed by farmers okay then guys good one no no appeal will be uh, advised for every student is as if my exam is there in the next day you please prepare along with us. today what are uh, not only my subject all subjects whatever we are teaching today by the time you come to my next class see to that we have learned perfectly and come back because one day i won't complete whole chapter is maybe two pages so three pages so four pages so note i will complete learning of that is easy if you wait for one week na seven days seven into three beyond 21 pages looks heavy please prepare every day by the time we come to my next class. not only my paper all the papers what is the advantage with that i strongly believe for example after 100 days i said today my syllabus is completed and the next day you will say my preparation is because you are traveling along with me every day you are preparing every day you are learning advantage is there. then you may have at least one month before examination syllabus will be done that one month you can do the two times or three times review in a professional examination students will pass if they do the revision remember please do the revision revision is must end two times or three times revision is there you get clarity over the concept <coughs> plan accordingly because at the beginning itself we tell at least you can make your own strategy for the preparation parties right please don't look at others they are not preparing she is not preparing he is not preparing their life it's my life i need not compare with anyone today topic by the time tomorrow i come perfectly prepare and come right sir next one public company private company we have done opc private company now it is public company what is a public company please write public company means public company means a company a company <coughs> which is not a private company your answer my dear a company which is not a private company and has minimum paid up capital and has minimum paid up capital as may be prescribed minimum paid up capital as may be prescribed so in other words in other words in examination i can't write like this even if i write also i'll get marks but still i want more impressive means other way you can write right public company means any company in other words i'm giving any company which is registered which is registered under the company act 2013 under the company act 2013 or under any previous company law or under any previous company law having the minimum paid up capital having the minimum paid up capital as may be prescribed having the minimum paid up capital as may be prescribed 
having the minimum paid up capital as may be prescribed and um, according to AOA according to AOA now we write one by one point A which does not restrict maximum number of members which does not restrict maximum number of members point B which does not restrict the transferability of the share which does not restrict transferability of the share point C which does not prohibit which does not prohibit issue of prospectus to public which does not prohibit issue of prospectus to public and minimum directors 3 minimum directors 3 that's all <coughs> Either you can write the first part you can write or otherwise these points also you can write. See the definition side. What is a public company? Any company which is not a private company. Quite opposite to private company you have to write. If I wanted to write the futures of private company, I would say, if I want to start a public company, minimum requirement is 7 members. Minimum 7. OPC, 1. Private company, 2. Public company, 7. 7 members, fine. And second one, maximum number of members were unlimited. Means infinitum. There is no limit on the maximum number of members. Because it can go for the public issue. Then we don't have any restriction on the maximum number of members. And third one, which does not restrict the transferability of means shares are freely transferable from one person to another person just by delivery delivery and endorsement freely transferable subject to MOA AOA what are the rules let down we have to satisfy and uh, which does not restrict the mean prohibit which does not prohibit which does not prohibit issue of a prospectus a public company can always go for IPO or FPO as and when necessary. And minimum number of the directors in case of a public company were quite opposite. Right? Then how do I know this is a private company, this is a public company means already I told you guys. The word private is there in the name of a company. Private company. The word limited is not there. Public company. That's the only one indication we have to see. The word limited is there, limited company. In private is there, private company. Private is not there, public company. Right? So this is about private company and public company. Later part I will explain. But here one point always keep in mind. Holding company, subsidiary company. When we discuss one point clarification, I will explain. Right? Now write next one, holding company. This is the meaning of a holding company according to section 2, subsection 46. Holding company, section 2, subsection 46. Holding company means, right. In relation to one or more other companies, in relation to one or more other companies, one or more other companies, comma, means, a company, a company of which, a company of which such companies are subsidiary companies. Such companies are, see on the screen if you want. Such companies are subsidiary companies. Next, hold subs subsidiary company, section 2, subsection 87. Subsidiary company, section 2, subsection 87, means 
ये कंपनी इन हुच द होल्डिंग कंपनी ये कंपनी इन हुच द होल्डिंग कंपनी कंट्रोल्स द कंपोजिशन ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर कंट्रोल्स द कंपोजिशन ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर कंट्रोल्स कंपोजिशन ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर और एक्सरसाइज आर कंट्रोल्स एक्सरसाइज आर कंट्रोल्स मोर देन वन हाफ ऑफ द टोटल वोटिंग पावर मोर देन वन हाफ ऑफ द टोटल वोटिंग पावर right continue either by its own either by its own or with one or more of its subsidiaries its own or with one or more of its subsidiaries its one or more of its subsidiaries now please understand <clears throat> already i told for others for the sake of others again i am explaining just to try to understand in this case i am taking the first public company as an example x company limited y company limited z company limited there are three companies are there three are public companies example i am taking first today one company that is x company Acquired majority of the shares in Y company. Majority means fifty-one percent or more, more than one half. It may be fifty point zero one percent also. When voting is conducted, you should be in a position to win. That's it, right? Today, fifty-one percent or more paid-up capital of the Y company is held by X company. now this x company is called holding company and y company is called subsidiary company definition may be bit tricky definition in simple you remember a holding company the term itself is self explanatory holding company is one which is having a hold means control over the affairs of the another company subsidiary company is one which is being controlled by holding company how can i become the holding company there are two methods first one is by acquiring the majority of the shares if a majority of the shares are on my name majority of voting power also with me what is the meaning of voting voting means held up your hand so of your hands the meetings chapter requisites of the meeting is there. that time i will explain much more. time being we remember wherever you come across one word voting voting means held up your hand held up your hand so of your hands fine right? while passing the resolution we have to raise our hand. right since we have the 51% of the voting rights your word is final because we are in the democratic setup rule of majority is always valid since we have the 51% whatever you said that's final appointment of director appointment of auditor amendment i mean alteration of your memorandum certain clauses articles of association clauses if you want to alter since we have 51% the remaining people easy to influence them and see to that your word will prevail while making the decision in terms of the production marketing finance and hr activities policy matters everything you can influence so you have a total control over the affairs of the company first one is by holding the majority of the share since the shares are there i have the voting rights second one composition of the board of director what is it in a x company 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी हेच आर डायरेक्टर वेर एज इन दुबई कंपनी आल्सो ए बी सी डी ई एफ आर डायरेक्टर इन बोथ द कंपनी डायरेक्टर्स आर वन एंड द सेम नो पर्सन कैन बी डायरेक्टर फॉर मोर देन ट्वेंटी कंपनी आई कैन बी डायरेक्टर फॉर ट्वेंटी कंपनी obviously in both the companies the directors may be one and the same if directors are one and the same here whatever the decision we have taken as a director it got impact in by company or vice versa so with the composition of the board of directors also you are able to influence the other company activity so how to become the holding means by holding the majority of the shares voting power second one with the composition of the board of director composition of board of director means in both the companies management is one and the same or in a subsidiary company majority of the directors are appointed by holding company since you are appointing you have a control over the directors whatever you said directors will do thereby so holding company subsidiary company meaning and now i took example of all these three what if if z is already subsidiary company to y company z company is already subsidiary company to y the moment y company become subsidiary company to x the dolls will become subsidiary company to first fundamental demum and how many layers were allowed the layers allowed here is one every holding company can have the two layers second point third one what if if y is a private company x is the public company y is a private company one public company acquired majority of the shares in private company so now private company is a subsidiary company to public company now one words this private company is called deemed public company please remember deemed public company not a public company but you perform function like a public company but you are not changing anything your characters are not changing your memorandum is not changing you perform so since i myself is the deemed public company i would like to take the benefits under the companies act 2013 public company some advantages are there those advantages can i claim as the deemed public company no 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 please remember unless until i convert into public company i can't avail the benefits but i am working like a public company you have passed the ca cma or cs qualified you don't have the membership can you practice technically no it also you are working like a public company but you can't avail the privileges given under the company law i want to avail the privileges means you convert your private company into public only status is given deemed public company status is there you work like a public company but the benefits are not available what benefits are given to public company though the subsidiaries so tax incentives are not available to that deemed public am i clear <clears throat> third fourth one what if if x company is a government company x is a government company government company means already we know 51% or more paid up capital is held by government here x is a government company today if one government company acquired a majority of the shares in private company now private company become 
subsidiary company to government company now one words this private company also called as deemed government company not a government company deemed to be you say na deemed to be university at a university deemed to be status is there privileges are there like university can work but you are not university are you understanding outside you can see na many many engineering colleges today deemed universities srinidhi anurag university have a decent pass they got aurora these were all deemed university means you are working like university but not you are not university if you want university means again conditions let down those things we have to satisfy am i making sense here also sir what if already that is a subsidiary company to why if why become deemed government company shall i also will become deemed public company the status was given to only the first layer not for the second layer am i making clarity on the line holding company subsidiary hello guys next one <coughs> definition invest uh, of course one point i think the definition itself it is there. the 51% are more paid up capital may be held by itself means x company alone otherwise through its subsidiary x company 26% y company y is a subsidiary company 25% acquired shares in z company here x company alone is not acquired the 51% x company by 26% subsidiary company by 25% total 51% in y company z company then also this is called subsidiary company one means the 51% need not be held alone along with your subsidiaries also you may acquire right now guys next <coughs> investing company no much definition you can see in the due course of time otherwise hmm? yeah next ka, associate company important and is right associate company important for an examination if you see the company law very first definition would be this one associate company abridged practice words will come associate company according to section 2 subsection 6 section 2 subsection please write associate company means in relation to another company comma a company a company in which a company in which that other company that other company has a significant influence has a significant influence but which is not a subsidiary company of the company which is not a subsidiary company of the company but it is not a subsidiary company of the company having such influence having such influence and includes and includes giant venture company and includes giant venture company that's all up to here on the remaining two points were explanatory statements you need not write in exam yes they ask see the associate company a company in which other company has a significant influence what is the meaning of significant influence see here at least 20 percent of the total voting power or control or participation in the business decision under the agreement means if i alone had a 20 percent of the paid up capital in your company definitely 20 percent of the voting rights are there i'm a key player definitely my boy my to whom i support that's going to be prevailed 
then myself is called first. I am not a subsidiary company to your company. Your C is a X company limited. Mine is a Y company limited. Say. Why company acquired 20% of the paid up capital in your company? So 20% of the voting rights are there in Y company's name. Y company got 20% voting rights. While passing the resolution, ordinary resolution, 51% required. I have 20% in that. Definitely my word is got some weightage while passing the resolution. I have a significant influence while passing the resolution. Some all persons won't come to meeting, right? definitely 100% won't be there. But I have 20% stake, definitely I can influence the decision. Myself is called, I am not a subsidiary to you. You are not a holding company, I am not a subsidiary. Even the joint ventures also, XY company together made investment in another company. In that 20% stake is there, then myself also called as a associate company. What is the advantage of associate company? Generally, these companies are handy while passing the, uh, while, while mobilizing the funds and this, rather I can say voting power. And the mobilization of the funds, these people will help you. 20% stake out trade I am giving means you have almost control over the certain activities of the organization. Some people prefer to have a control for them, offer the stake 20% stake. That is the more than 20, I may give sometime more than 20 all, 30%, 40%, 50%, not 51. 51 means again holding company. Less than that if I give, you will become the company where you are able to experience the discount of another company. Right? Next one guys, <coughs> listed company, very very important sir, there are some changes in this. The 2020 amendment, some changes were made here. According to Companies Amendment Act 2020. Earlier definition was different. Today definition is. And this definition you have to butterfly. I'm using the word. Answer that question may ask. Not only now, the due course of time, unless there is no change in the definition, this listed word will follow you many years. You have to remember this. Okay? Take it. Earlier listed company means, let me explain, earlier listed company means any company listed on the recognized stock exchange, simple one line, later SEBI gave the clarification, with the SEBI's recommendation, Companies Act was amended, Companies Amendment Act, you can use abbreviation, Companies Amendment Act 2020, they introduced it. Which is the listed company? One thumb roll you remember? Unless equity shares of that public company or private company are not listed on the stock exchange, your C is not a listed company. Debentures are listed. Debt securities are listed. Convertible debentures were listed. Earlier they used to use this loophole. Simply, the debentures were issued, mobilized the funds, so it got listed. Public company. No, no, they said no, this is not a listed company. Listed company means that a company's equity shares has to be listed on the stock exchange. Any company which is intended to go for public issue, listing on the recognized stock exchange, one or two, is mandatory. So for that we have to talk with the SEBI guidelines we have to follow and you are intended to go for public issue. For that talk with the SEBI guidelines follow and obviously listing the equity shares are important but not other than equity. Equity shares were not listed, it is not a listed company. That a key word you remember, rest you will understand. Please, okay? Please write, it will lengthy this one. <clears throat> listed company, such a class of companies, such a class of companies, which the listed, such a class of companies, which have listed or intended to list 
intended to list such securities such securities as may be prescribed <coughs> as may be prescribed as may be prescribed in consultation with sebi in consultation with sebi securities exchange board of india in consultation with sebi shall not be considered shall not be considered as listed companies as listed company the central government notified that the central government has notified that the central government has notified that the following companies shall not be considered the following companies shall not be considered as listed companies for the purpose of compliance with the companies act for the purpose of for the purpose of companies act 2013 for the purpose of a company act 2013 under the two right first one public companies public companies which have not listed <coughs> which have not listed their equity shares which have not listed their equity shares on recognized stock exchange use one abbreviation r s to write one time now one words later when frequently we come across this r s e recognized stock exchange recognized stock exchange but have listed there but have listed there to write one by one a b two points a non convertible debt security non convertible debt security which in the brackets debentures non convertible debentures debentures are various types are there convertible non convertible non convertible issued on a private placement basis issued on a private placement basis issued on a private placement basis point b non convertible redeemable preference shares non convertible redeemable preference shares non convertible redeemable preference shares issued on private placement basis you can use that word pp pp means private placement repeatedly you need not write pp pp means not a public prosecutor private placement in the company law <coughs> private placement basis first point completed second private companies private companies which have listed their non convertible debt securities which have listed their non convertible debt securities within the brackets debentures within the brackets debentures issued on pp issued on pp means private placements on the basis of rsc Recognized stock exchange. Point three. Public companies. Public companies not listed their equity shares. 
public companies will not listed their equity shares on RSC on RSC in India RSC in India but but whose equity shares are listed but whose equity shares are listed on foreign stock exchange on foreign stock exchange idr gdr gdr is there but not idr <coughs> see the definition and simply listing on the stock exchange is not a listed company unless until your equity shares are not listed on the recognized stock exchange yours is not a listed company that is the conclusion and with this definition if you verify carefully say the three categorization government of india identified first one is the government company second one is the private company third one is a public company but listed outside india yours is a public company not listed their equity shares in india not listed their equity shares on recognized stock exchange but listed what see there non convertible debt security debentures are two types convertible non convertible convertible from the date of allotment within the 36 months fully convertible within the 18 months partly convertible non convertible allotted as debentures paid as debentures no conversion for them this is a non convertible debt security through the private placement you mobilize the funds these were listed non convertible debentures were listed but not security but it is not a listed company second one non convertible redeemable preference shares there are two types of shares are of course various types and participative non participative right and cumulative non cumulative redeemable and convertible non convertible there is no irredeemable preference shares today they were deleted because a company can issue the preference shares a maximum 20 years beyond 20 years you cannot issue that's why today we don't have the irredeemable preference shares no company can issue the preference shares payable after 20 years so that obviously there is no irredeemable today but this is a redeemable preference share but convertible verify that non convertible non convertible redeemable preference shares issued on a private placement basis debt securities are registered and non redeemable preference shares are listed but this is not a listed company so listing is done done with only debt security done only non convertible but not a equity share though it is a public company but not a listed company second one yours is a private company which have listed their non convertible debt security debenture through the private placements private company mobilized as is always allowed and private placements allowed for both private company as well as public company through the private placements they mobilized the debentures debenture amount it got listed but this is not a listed company in order to say this private company is a listed company means equity shares should have listed there otherwise it is not a listed company and finally yours is a public company in india two concepts are there one is the idr second one is gdr what is idr indian depository receipt shares are issued in india allotments are made in india idr gdr global depository receipt shares are issued outside india shares are issued outside india in this case yours is a public company in india shares were not issued means in india there is no listing on the recognized stock exchange but you have listed your shares outside the country in india you can't claim as a listed company status in order to claim it as a listed company status it have been listed on the recognized stock exchange with equity shares so listed outside india outside india it may be listed company but in india it is not a listed company am i clear so remember public company that's why one keyword thumb rule and unless until equity shares are not listed 
listed it is not a listed company but previously what was the definition until 2020 any company which is listed on recognized stock exchange that listing may be non convertible redeemable preference shares listed company otherwise the debt security listed company listed outside india listed company then the government gave a clarity no 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 these are all not listed companies listed company means these companies equity shares should have registered then only listed company otherwise am i clear hmm? please learn sir important chance that question may come short answer not only now this definition will follow you many years to come concept has to be remembered seriously because tomorrow when you go for practice also the word come across listed company unlisted company then you should know what is a listed company you can't say that oh once upon a time to 2024 i learned that why i forgot uh, you remember the date also you know 26th january i studied some dates will be fixed and this topic i learned on so and so date forgot here yeah. memory is very short can't say that word right chalo next one guys this is the one question already appeared in our examination and not less than three times you can see this question. small company definition they were asking repeatedly this question hmm? make a note according to section 2 subsection 85 small company small company means a company a company other than gov public company there is one clue there other than public company means basically this is a private company it can never be public company small company can never be public company it is only a private company for that okay i repeat a company other than public company point a b two points you write point a paid up share capital paid up share capital paid up share capital of which of which does not exceed of which does not exceed rupees 2 crores rupees 2 crores or such a higher amount rupees 2 crores or such a higher amount as may be prescribed such a higher amount as may be prescribed which shall not be more than which shall not be more than 10 crores which shall not be more than 10 crores and point b we are using the word and and means both the conditions or means either of the condition right do remember and point b turnover of which turnover turnover of which as per the profit and loss account as per the profit and loss account for immediate preceding financial year for immediate preceding financial year for immediate preceding financial year does not exceed does not exceed rupees 20 crores rupees 20 crores or such a higher amount or such a higher amount as may be prescribed such a higher amount as may be prescribed which shall not be more than which shall not be more than rupees 100 crores which shall not be more than rupees 100 crores right next para <clears throat> this clause shall not apply to this clause shall not apply to means this definition is not applicable to point a b c a holding company subsidiary company you can use abbreviations so h co and s co easy writing part will become easier in here in exam you write in a full way right holding company subsidiary company second 
Section 8 Company, Section 8 Company, Point C. A company or a body corporate governed by a company or body corporate governed by governed by special act governed by special act small company what is a small company according to section 2 subsection 85 basically this is not a public company then based on the paid up capital based on the turnover two areas what is the minimum what is the maximum minimum to maximum 10 crores here it is 20 100. Add 1 0. Here 2 na 20. Here 10 na here 100. This is the CR. And in between you have to remember this is the and. Means both the conditions need to satisfy. A small company means which is not a public company. Means basically private company. Then which company is called as a small company based on the turnover as well as turnover and paid up capital. What should be the paid up capital? If your paid up capital is not exceeding 2 crores, 1 rupee to 2 crores, you can claim it as a small company. Or such a higher amount as may be prescribed. What is such a higher amount? Again clarity is there. It must not exceed 20 crores. 1 to 2 crores. My paid up capital 50 lakhs. Small company. 1 crore. Small company. 2 crores. Small company. 5 crores. Still small company. I can claim that status. Because higher amount is there. Higher amount was prescribed categorically. No confusion. It is not ambiguous. They said higher amount also up to 20. Which means in between 2 to 10. In between 2 to 10 our paid up capital is there also. You can claim the small company status. And the turnover. Before that what is paid up capital? Paid up capital means equity paid up capital. And convertible preference share capital. I repeat. Equity paid up capital plus Convertible preference share capital because we are converting the preference shares into equity shares. It becomes the part of equity. Thereby, these two has to be considered. Other one, turnover. What is the turnover? Selling the goods in the market, rendering the services, and whatever may be the money got mobilized. That is called as turnover. According to the latest profit and loss account, means the preceding financial year, 31st March, accounts were closed. Then what is our turnover? If your turnover is rupees 20 crores, not exceeding 20 crores, claim as a small company. Or such a higher amount as may be prescribed, such a higher amount is now 100 crores. So in between, if my turnover is the 50 crores, still I can claim the small company status. Sir, what is the advantage of the small company? First of all, you tell me. Consolidated financial statements need not be filed with ROC. Whereas a public company, how to submit a consolidated financial statements? In this case, not necessary. And I have the other advantages with like a public company, some privileges. Private company got additional privileges were there. I can enjoy the privileges of the private company. Statutory regulations won't be there much. Public company regulations were heavy. Compliances are there. Private company compliances when comparatively public company is very less. I can enjoy those privileges thereby. And the board of directors meeting, per annum four board meetings we have to conduct in case of a public company. In between the two meetings, the gap power interval must not be more than 120 days. In this case, per annum, two board of directors meet. Small company, per annum only 
two meetings. In between the two meetings, 90 days allowed. See the difference. Their intention was very clear. Again, 90 days means every three months one meeting should be there. Other hand, we think that meeting is there. But paranam, two meetings and a fear. But see to that between the two meetings, gap is only 90 days. Which means we have to see to that around in the month of the uh, August or September, conduct one meeting. Again in the month of January, February, conduct one more meeting. 90 days cap calculate and accordingly can occur. Four meetings not necessary. Some advantages are there. And uh, small company. But uh, this rule is not applicable to where? Holding company. Subsidiary company. Section 8 company. Service motive. Non-profit company. And any company which came into force according to special act. What are the special act? RBI. UTI. LIC. SBI. IC. I mean... FCI, Vira came into force according to special legislations. For them, rule is not applicable. Our ICAI came into force according to ICAI Act is there. 1949-1959. <coughs> right? Well, I think small company definition is clear. Those figures don't confuse them. These are later amended figures. These were earlier something differently it was. There. Right? Hello. We'll discuss. Next, please. Next one. I will give clarity on your note. <laughs> yeah. Next one, guys. Non profit company. We have separate chapter. That time I will explain this, not now. Hmm? Next one, Nidhi company, you write. <coughs> Nidhi company. Short answer question. Nidhi. Nidhi company. Means a company, a company which has been incorporated, which has been incorporated as Nidhi Company, as Nidhi Company with the object of, with the object of Cultivating the habit of cultivating the habit of thrift. See the word T H R I F T. Thrift and saving among guests its members. Saving among guests among guests its members. Among guests its members. Receiving deposits from receiving deposits from receiving deposits from and lending to and lending to its members only its members only for their mutual benefit. For their mutual benefit and which complies, which complies with the rules made by CG, with the rules made by CG. CG means central government. Rules made by CG for regulation of, for regulation of such companies. For a regulation of such companies. This is the Nidhi company definition. Expect the unexpected question in the examination. Chance that you may come, may ask in exam. Right? What is the meaning of this one? Thrift. Thrift means cost cutting. Cost cutting. Monthly, I have a 1 lakh rupee income. We know our expenditure budget will be prepared. Where is the possibility that I can reduce my cost? Where certain amount of money can be saved? The saved money I invest in a Nidhi company. Generally this happens in a middle class family. Dad gave the rupees 40,000 rupees to his wife. 
for maintenance of the family for the month of the January. And she knows allocation of the funds. And she will save certain amount where unproductive expenditure is there. Maybe 2000 or 5000 or 10,000 or whatever. And she will join into one chit fund. 1 lakh chit or 2 lakh chit or 5 lakh chit. She won't inform to husband also. Every month they have to pay 5000 rupees. They are minimizing the expenditure. Which means somewhere they are compromising rather. She knows where to compromise. Best financial manager, you know. And uh, she will save some money and invest. Means members are depositing from their savings. By allowing the cost cutting, remember. Not that we are totally compromising. No, no, no. Wherever necessary, you spend not 100 rupees, 1000 rupees you spend. When situation demands, you spend more money, sir. When situation doesn't demand, please don't spend even one rupee also. Seriously, you also you people should learn very quickly. And sorry to say this word. After going home, just to open your word board and see how many dresses are there. There are certain dresses which you haven't wear for last 12 months, not even one time also. Just hang on. Dead investment here. Yeah? Why do you purchase when you are not wearing this? Are you not happy with four dresses or five dresses? Why? Half a dozen, two dozen, three dozen, four dozen. If somebody's house when you go, saris will be there to almaras and. What for? Dead investment again. More designs are changing, patterns are changing. It's outdated man. If you rather investing that money there, you invest in other way, you can accumulate some money and. Think a while. You are wearing the dress to satisfy or to impress yourself. Not to impress anyone in this world. Please understand this part. If you are wearing the dress to impress anyone means you are not living your life or living their life. Never do such a mistake in our life. And I love it, I like it, I wear it. That's it. Every day same dress. Kya karu bhai? I like this color. Other colors I hate it. You speak that language, what is wrong in that? But our people, and since you purchased, I will purchase, since you purchased, I will purchase, nonsense. But uh, especially some people are there and they cost to minimization will be there. That saved money, they join into chit. Money makes money, hello, your dress won't make another dress. After 4-5 weeks, you have to throw it out. You won't give it to somebody also. Isn't it? Are there anyone to really deliberate, I mean, uh, so open-minded that I can give some of my addresses to, which you are not wearing, but still hang on. There are many people here outside, you want to help them out. Your maid, servant, children, so they give it to them. No, me and servant, child, both are same. So tomorrow onward they are wearing my dress. No. Go to hell, nobody can help you. I had seen one student and, uh, sorry, I can't tell the name. He was having his 5th class, 9th class, 10th class, class notebooks also, today also, on the Almara. I said, what for? To see and satisfy. 10th class, I wrote like this. Are you crazy? There are some people and who can see all this nonsense? Are you over here? 10th class over, pick though. Unless you remove certain things and new things won't come inside. Here also, man, at least middle class people and they will, they will reduce the expenditure, save some money, invest. That invested money given as a loan to members. For that best example and always remember, best example is Idhi company, best example, chit fund operation. 1 lakh rupee chit, 20 months, 40 months is you. 40 months means every month how much I have to pay. Imagine. And it's uh, 5 lakh chit to 10 lakh chit is that people will join. Every month they will pay certain amount. And uh, whatever money come after 20 months, uh, mama will lift the chit and give that money to dad. I have saved this money, man. Use for a purpose. They can make a deposit on the chit. Hey. Parent never enjoy himself. And I don't know how many have seen. Very conjuice fellows. 
they are saving money for next generation only are you eat properly no my children this is a tragedy in india this is the greatest tragedy in india they live for the next generation they won't live for themselves notice any time of course they are kind people here otherwise we won't be like this you know <clears throat> anyway cost cutting saving that money yeah. right next one sir foreign company right foreign company foreign company according to section 2 subsection 42 section 2 subsection 42 foreign company means any company any company or body corporate body corporate any company or a body corporate incorporated outside india incorporated outside india incorporated outside india which which you right ab two points a has a place of business in india has a place of business in india see on the screen if you want has a place of business in india whether by itself whether by itself or through an agent or through an agent or physically physically or through electronic mode or through electronic mode and point b conduct any business conduct any business conduct any business activity in india conduct any business activity in india in any other manner in any other manner so what is a foreign company easy and nowadays this definition any company which is incorporated incorporated means registered outside india but having place of business in india physical office is there place of business in india foreign company place of business means physical office is not there foreign company send goods to agents agents are selling in india till foreign company third your company incorporated outside india doing the business through networking nothing but internet nowadays everything is online only online ordering online delivery is going on everybody is coming everything is happening today unlike uh, with internet facility the world has become a global village from anywhere anything you can buy but may have maybe delayed process sometime in the delivery may be there otherwise na no, you can buy anything anywhere so through the networking if you are buying and selling also that company also called as a foreign company but what all the companies are there in india operating in india as a foreign company you have to follow indian accounting standards while keeping the books and your profit is the transferable from india to outside india according to fema foreign exchange management act guidelines you have to follow and transfer right here some clarification was given later when the notes you can read next one government company <clears throat> the repeatedly asked examination and very very important friends this government company government company already we discussed that earlier class is for the sake of others i will elaborate government company means any company any company section 2 sub section 45 section 2 sub section 45 any company in which more than 51% of the paid up capital more than 51% of the paid up capital is held by is held by central government cg 
DG or SG state government or governments governments or partly by CG partly by CG partly by CG and partly by partly by one or more SG partly by one or more okay okay please understand this <clears throat> in case of a government company according to section 2 subsection 45 a company is said to be a government company either 51 percent or more paid up capital this is the keyword paid up capital is held by central government alone or state government alone or partly by central government and partly by state government or state governments together so in the examination this is the definition they were asking repeatedly especially cs students perfectly prepared and uh, 51 percent in x company limited Central government acquired 51% paid up capital. X company is called government company. State government is having 51% alone. State government alone. Government company. Central government by 26%. Telangana state by 10%. And Andhra Pradesh by 10%. Maharashtra by 5%. Total C1 percent. Central government partly by central government, partly by state governments. It is also called a government company. Right? Otherwise, no central government, all state governments together, they may acquire the 51 percent. That is also called as a government company. Government company objective is the service mode. Because government objective is the public service. No government will do the commercial activities deliberately and like a geo, BSNL people can do business activity. In fact, business, there's such a huge infrastructure, huge capital is there for the BSNL. They should have been number one in the market. Because of the political reasons, we are not debating on that, just I'm using political reasons. Huh? They were not given a proper... Uh, liberty or a freedom for them to take a timely quality decision. Otherwise, how can the private people compete with the public sector? Public sector got a huge infrastructure with them. Use money, government one, they can go just like this. Money. Deliberately, we are diluting the system. Parallelly, public sector, private sector should work. Then what will happen? Private people cannot exploit the consumer. When there was no public sector, what will happen one day? And you will be exploited. And we will be exploited rather. Thereby, guys. Here, government uh, should give a reasonable opportunity. Nothing but a freedom. Give freedom for them. Don't political interference is not there. Give freedom and see public sector undertaking, sir. IDPL, I don't know how many of you knew. One of the best institutions. Literally killed that organization. People were stolen the formulas there from. IDPL story, Balanagar, Y Junction, Saurastha, Karnar, you can see. For the sake of that land, they killed the organization. Those people used to give the life saving medicines with 10 rupees to 5 rupees. How can these so called ready labs and other uh, NATCO people can survive in the market? Because conspiracy, conspiracy theory is there and always. People won't allow them. To grow in the market. Again, people say public sector is not performing well. Do chance for them and see how they will perform. And unfortunately, in India, that won't happen. Probably every time political interference will be there, wherever government made investment, there is a political interference. And here verify. Central government will make investment on whose name? Gent name. Remember this vocabulary in the uh, requisites of the valid meeting when I discuss the quorum, these points we will get. 
central government will make investment on president name and state governments will make investment on governor's name time being we remember not on any individual's name president governor president may come and go persons may come and go positions will be there forever is it that way so government company but here one question was given in the ca question papers earlier central government was holding 26 percent state government state, telangana state 10 percent ap by 10 percent and the lic by 5 percent is this government company states name i have changed it is this government company answer is because the lic is not government Generally, student where he confused means LIC belonging to central government. But it is a company, corporation. LIC came into force according to LIC Act. Separate law is. This is not a government. Here, definition only based for us to give interpretation. So, 51% or more paid up capital is held by central government alone. State government alone, partly by central government, partly by state government or state governments. Not a government company or a corporation or a body corporate, etc. Thereby, this is not a government. Fine. Next one. Next heading. Government company. 455. T-O-R-M-A-N-T. Government company. What is a dormant company? Where, you know, dormant partner, na? types of partners, you know. Who is the dormant partner? Sleepy. Sleepy partner. Here also dormant company. Sleepy company. <coughs> where company is formed and registered? Where a company is formed and registered under this act? Under this act? This act means Companies Act, which has not been carrying on its business. Sorry, I repeat. I repeat very, very, wait, wait. Which is company form registered under this act for, for, you write one by one, A. A feature mean, a feature project, a feature project and has no significant accounting transaction. And it has no significant accounting transaction. Significant accounting transaction sat CAT or to hold an asset to hold an asset or intellectual property to hold an asset or intellectual property and has Significant accounting transaction set or inactive company, inactive company such a company can make an application, such a company can make an application under MSC one e form, e form MSC one. Numerical number one, M S C, M S C one, two R O C, two R O C, for obtaining the status of, for obtaining the status of, dormant company, for obtaining the status of, dormant company. Now listen guys, <clears throat> let me give interpretation on this one. Dormant company, which means a sleepy company. A company just got incorporated. We got a certificate of incorporation. Only on paper there is a company. In fact, there is no significant accounting transaction substantial business transactions were not there only on paper there is a company it is a totally inactive company 
for how many years it can be inactive maximum of before the lapse of the second year you have to activate it otherwise what will happen registration will be automatically struck off this validity only for two. why this dormant company man to acquire future asset to acquire future asset or ipr intellectual property rights some research is going on almost at a final stage at any point of time the results may come within the 3 months or 6 months or 1 year space so whenever that opportunity has come i want to grab that opportunity for that first to create one company get ready when it is ready acquire that patenting and go for activity to acquire the future asset to avail the iprs otherwise tomorrow there is a most promising business some people are visionaries and they are able to see the future down to 2 years down to 5 years down to 10 years this is going to have a huge demand in the market based on the trend analysis they can they, they are the bookworms they keep on reading and attending the seminars more interactive people they they are able to see the future this is going to be the trend that grab that opportunity we want to grab it for that create one company keep it in a sleepy mode when opportunity comes don't say that somebody is there whether qualification required or not keep on passing examinations only they do the phd phd 1 phd 2 phd 3 keep on writing keep on they, they, for them uh, learning no pull stop and only comma reading learning learning or what for your learning age of 60 age of 70 notice the people they are learning when you learn something new when opportunity comes no one knows and when opportunity comes you can play your cards that's why acquire one qualification for and don't stop the your learning process and you may take one break come up to a break for 5 years enjoy your life and back to your own task out of 24 hours every day until my last breath i have to learn at least 2 to 5 hours 24 hours at your disposal and to spend 2 hours to update yourself and unless you update you are outdated man outdated things will be system will thrown out don't go after the ott i won't say that out of 24 at least 2 hours time for your sake for your career for your good you spend quality to time for your self and uh, once you become the professional especially you have to update yourself and build a network for time being sleepy this i advise you when you when you pass your intermediate before you start your article ship or after one year of article ship completed then register your dormant company two years now by the time you pass your company ready ca passed work into your company as a cmd chairman cum managing director you have a two years a time you have two years a time what are the do's and don'ts sir what is the significant business transaction significant accounting transaction huge quantum of the sales were not there huge quantity of raw materials were not purchased huge amount of salaries were not paid est was not paid then what did you paid to register my company registration fees i paid how much minimum 5000 rupees is this significant accounting transaction i have a small room hired room rent per month 5000 rupees i am paying is this uh, i mean 10000 i am paying rather is this a significant accounting transaction to look after that office i appointed the one per servant for him per month i am paying 10000 rupees is this significant business transaction 
Thereby remember, I don't have any activity. Only company is created. It is in a sleepy mode. When opportunity comes, so I have to grab that up. Somebody, you are traveling from India to outside India. Or in India, you are traveling. Adjacent to you, one business person sat. Fortunately, got a seat along with that guy. He said, what are you? I am so-and-so. In the conversation, he was impressed with your intelligence. He said, shall we collaborate? I don't have company, so opportunity comes only once. Na? If I have a company, the moment he said, I have a company, oh, do you want a company? Yes, sir. Government company. Oh, interesting. Shall we tie up? Yes, sir. In the airplane itself, we can sign. Over now, yeah. That's why don't wait until you get opportunity and I will create. No, no, first create. How much investment you are making, man? No, pay, no minimum paid-up capital also. No, no operation, nothing. Only registration fees we have to pay. Isn't it? At a huge investment required. And create one company. When, who knows here when that luck will come and knock you That time, if we have a company, probably life will be. Especially for the sake of the innovation side and this widely used. This is for today.